This video explains emulsion polymerization. Emulsion polymerization is a type of radical chain polymerization. The polymerization system consists of a monomer, water which is the dispersing medium, a water soluble initiator and an emulsifier or a surfactant. The emulsion system is kept well agitated throughout the reaction. The surfactant molecules come together and form something called micelles once they are above the critical micelle concentration. In the micelles, the surfactant molecules orient themselves such that their hydrophobic paths are away from the aqueous medium and their hydrophilic paths are toward the aqueous medium. So this whole thing is an aqueous medium and you can see that the blue polar heads of the missiles orient themselves toward the aqueous medium. When a missile is formed, the surface tension of the solution drops, heat is released and the free energy of the system decreases and that gives it stability. Now these are the monomer droplets. The monomer droplets also orient themselves such that their polar heads are facing towards the aqueous medium and their hydrophobic portions are away from the aqueous medium. The monomer droplets are large and they are in the order of about 1 to 10 micrometers when the missile uh, sizes are in the order of nanometers. Some monomer molecules are also there in the aqueous medium and some missiles swell up with some monomer particles. So how does the chain initiation and propagation happen? First, the initiator releases radicals in the aqueous medium. These radicals get into the missile and trigger the chain propagation. The chain propagation continues as the monomers inside the particle get consumed. As the monomer particles inside the missile particle get consumed for the polymer chain formation, the monomer particles from the solution get inside to replenish and the monomer particles from the monomer droplets get into the solution. So this progresses until all the monomer particles get consumed in the formation of the polymer chain. So again here we can draw one more example where the initiator forms the radicals and the radical enters the missile particle that has monomer molecules and chain propagation starts. The chain keeps propagating until all the monomer molecules inside are used up and then further more monomer molecules from the solution get into the missile particle to replenish and monomer droplets release more monomer molecules into the aqueous medium. So this keeps continuing until the monomer droplet concentration is, is almost over. At that point, polymerization is almost complete. As these missile particles swell with the polymer chain, they also consume more and more surfactant molecules for stability. So the surfactant concentration also comes down toward the end. Thus, in immersion polymerization, the polymerization occurs inside the missiles. The polymer particles that are formed are of the order of 0.05 to 5 millimeters and the product is an emulsion of polymer in water also called as latex. We can get high molecular weight polymers along with high rate of polymerization in immersion polymerization and increasing the surfactant concentration is one way to increase the molecular weight and rate of polymerization. Emulsions formed this way are used in floor coatings, adhesives, paints and so on.